Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm assuming you're here because you want to watch me set up more reference material and make another head. We're not doing that today. We're gonna make the body. As always, feel free to fill the comment section with questions. And research has shown that if you subscribe to us, your models turn out perfectly. All right, let's begin. I'm going to toggle off all of the object's visibilities. Move my cursor to origin, add a new cube. Position it so that the bottom faces line up with where a character's legs stop. And in edit mode, change to face select. Select this top face and delete only faces. Create an edge loop down the center with Control R. You can't really tell, but I just did it. In vertex select, delete the vertices on one side. Add a mirror modifier, select the top vertices, and drag them down to about where the top of the pants will be. Now grab the side vertices and pull them to about here. In face select, with proportional editing off, extrude a face out to the outer edge of the pants, and delete all the top faces. Select this lower face and extrude down, delete the bottom face. I'm going to rotate the bottom edge a little bit to more match the character's pants and position the vertices. Add a subdivision surface modifier and position everything so that it more closely matches the reference. I'm going to apply our mirror modifier and the subdivision modifier. Delete one side again, add another mirror modifier and turn on clipping. Select everything and change to smooth shading. Then drag stuff around until it looks alright. Select this bottom loop, extrude and scale, then merge by distance. Drag this vertex up a little bit, and then bevel this edge loop with Control B. Now apply another subdivision surface modifier, turn our reference back on. Just shape everything to your liking. It's a smart idea to scale everything on one axis at a time, at least in my opinion. Be careful near the center because of clipping. Sometimes I find the shape turns out nicer if you select more than one vertex at a time, it's hard to tell how an object should curve using only the front side references, but then just keep messing around with the positioning until it looks right. In most cases, 100% accuracy isn't necessary. I'm feeling like this looks pretty good, so let's make the legs. Add a circle, 8 vertices is more than enough. Scale and position it. With proportional editing off, extrude downwards towards the ankle. With Control R, add an edge loop and scale it to make the calf. And another here. In side view, fix the Y scale and positioning of these edge loops. Add another edge loop up here and give them a knee. I'm going to extrude down this bottom edge loop, position the heel, hit Control R and scroll the mouse wheel to add three edge loops evenly spaced. And then shape the back of the foot with proportional editing. Add another circle to our foot object in edit mode. Position and delete the back three vertices, scale and position further. Our bottom preference will come in handy for placing the foot. With proportional editing turned off, extrude faces upward and then position the vertices into a more foot shape. Extrude up and over our top edge and move this back vertex forward a bit. Scale the top loop slightly on the x-axis, and then extrude up and over again. Scale it down a bit. Select and delete these two vertices, and then start connecting our two shapes with faces. Delete this third vertex as well, and continue connecting. Temporarily make a big face out of these five vertices. Select the back edge, open your search bar with F3 or spacebar, or whatever you have it set to, and search for subdivide. Select these two vertices and hit J to join them. Now we can continue connecting the foot parts by making faces with F. Select these side vertices and scale along the X axis until it looks less weird. Make two giant half foot faces on the bottom. Then divide the foot up into quads with J. Select everything and change the shading to smooth so we can check our normals. And our normals are all over the place. So hit Alt-N and recalculate outside. Add a subdivision modifier. The reference seems to have pretty sharp edges at the bottom of the feet. We can achieve a more subtle version of that by adding in an edge loop. The closer you place it to the bottom, the sharper the edge will be. I'm going to select the entire bottom of the foot and our new edge loop, 
and scale it on the x-axis. Select the entire back of the foot and pull it back a bit. Do something similar with the front and just shape it until you like it. They have strange little feet in Animal Crossing, so no matter how you do this part, it'll look alright. Do some final touches and there we go. Set our cursor back to origin, shift S. Add a cube. Scale it down to chest size. Move the top face down to below the armpits and extrude upwards. Add a subdivision modifier and change the viewport setting to 2. Scale down the top face. Scale and delete this bottom face. Fine tune the vertex positions and apply the modifier. With proportional editing turned on, add that little wave to the bottom edge of the shirt. Let's prepare this object for mirroring. And then add a mirror modifier. Make sure clipping is on. Once again, match our shape to the reference, using all the different views. Select these top faces and extrude them up into the head, with proportional editing off. This makes a pretty square neck shape, so scale the upper faces, and it's still a little too flat, so I'm going to select these four vertices and move them closer to the center. Looks a little better, we might come back and fix it more later. Now for the arms. Select this vertex and delete it. Reposition the cursor if you want to, and add a circle. Turn off clipping, and get the circle in position. When you're happy with the placement, extrude it out to where the hand starts. Scale this original circle until it matches the reference. Add in a few edge loops to create an elbow. Prepare the arm opening by making it slightly more circular. And then connect the chest to the arm with faces. Add in another edge loop, and position it so the arm looks a little bit more natural. Add a cube to this body object in edit mode. Make sure clipping is off and scale it down to arm size. With only the cube selected, hit P to separate by selection. Tab into object mode and select the new object. Name the hand and the chest objects if you so desire. With the hand object selected, add a subdivision modifier, give it 2 in the viewport setting. Position it and apply the subdivision modifier. Scale and move stuff to get the shape you want. Select the hand and chest object in that order. Join them with Ctrl J. Select the 9 vertices closest to the arm and delete them. Make the corner faces and then fill in the rest. And now it's all connected with quads, which is nice sometimes. Smooth shade it and fix our normals with Alt N. The positioning of the shoulder could use some work, so fix it however you see fit and then add in an edge loop here to make the shirt seem more distinct from the arm. Also, fix the neck a bit. So there's the character's main body shape. And that's where we're going to wrap up today's video. Thank you everyone for watching our stuff. Join us next time when we texture and rig our model. If you enjoyed this, then leave a comment and a like. It helps us out a ton. Okay, bye. I love you.